What's the most unexpected, out of the blue thing your partner has ever done during sex? She slapped my ass and said whose pussy is this? It was our first time and I wasn't sure if it was hers or mine, so I ignored her. She did it again but this time she pinched my nipples and screamed answer me. Having a 50-50 chance I said it was my pussy. Afterwards she says that's right, it's your pussy, don't forget it. Seven years later, it's still my pussy, lol. I wasn't even there and I felt intimidated was about 2 millimeters away from entering this one girl, and she belts out oh, take me to the moon, internally, I was laughing my ass off while my dick seemed like it hit a patch of insta soft, as she was a virgin, I felt terrible blaming her for my sudden lack of boner, I simply told her it was performance anxiety and fell on my own sword flaxid noodle, so this wasn't me obviously but I heard it going down. My roommate and his girlfriend were the type who would always make noise while they were going at it and I was obviously never the type to complain. I'd just put on my headphones, turn on Spotify and play some games for a while because awkward conversation would probably kill me both literally and figuratively. One time however, I took my headphones off to go and get something to eat. They're still going at it. Then he makes a single, really loud, moo, like a cow. Everything stops. I can hear her ask, what the f like any sensible person would and he immediately stops laughing. Long story short, she left and they didn't speak for about a week. At that point you must start making farmyard animal noises at random points of his day. She fell asleep. We were absolutely hammered and had both been up for about 22 hours at that point. So it's understandable. But to have her just go unresponsive while I'm inside her didn't exactly help my ego. This is like 20% of the drunk as f sex I have with my wife. I outweigh her by like 80 pounds, but she matches me drink for drink. Once she passes out I just grab a titty and beat off. I can't even. Hash just married things. We were having a very heavy makeout session before bed. Not unusual and usually led into much more playful, naughty, sexy things. Provided we didn't draw out the making out. We'd been going at it for a few minutes and things were starting to get just a little bit more heated. Hands shifting around. Etc. Then he just stops. Nothing. Figure maybe he had to catch his breath or I'd shifted and cut off his circulation or something. I wait a minute. Try and kiss him again. No response. I say his name and poke him. No response. Then I realize his breathing pattern has shifted. He's fallen asleep in the middle of making out. At that point I say screw it and go to sleep as well. The next morning, he didn't remember a thing. Old FWB liked to dirty talk so do I. But in one of our sessions, he kept referring to his penis as his pepperoni. You want a taste of this pepperoni? No. No. I don't. Dried me up like the Sahara Desert. He said. In Nigel Thronberry's voice oh, Alushka, I'm arriving. It was so awkward but I couldn't stop laughing. Throw away because she knows my username. But weirdest thing has got to be her waking up on penetration. Which she initiated. I knew she sleepwalks and talks. Apparently she f too. She woke up confused. On top of me. Worked out what was going on. Shrugged and just continued. This has happened more than once although I've gotten better at noticing when she's asleep in the dark. And waking her up first. It's not a regular thing. Maybe four times in a seven year relationship. Definitely weird. Although not as funny as when I woke up in the middle of the night to see her waiting for the lift in front of the sliding wardrobe. Yes. She has spoke to a therapist and her sleepwalking has almost completely stopped I won't say completely as it's one of those things that can come back I think. But she's fine for now. Unlike a lot of replies. She's pretty stupid when asleep. As in can't work out a doorknob let alone drive a car. That being said. See above. No. She didn't cry rape. Ever. She knew she sleepwalked before we started dating. So she kinda just went with it. Guess I'm lucky though. No babies were made in the process of this story. Thankfully. She needs to see a doctor. My buddy sleepwalks. A month ago he got up. Drove his car into a ravine six blocks away from his place. Yes. He survived. I was riding on top of my partner and before he was gonna come he wanted to pull out so when he finally came I rolled off and he accidentally busted his nut on his forehead. I immediately bursted out into laughter and he shouted aaand I f***ing lost it. She just broke down crying. And it wasn't just a few tears. But a full blown crying. I held her tight telling her if everything was alright but she still cried for the next 10 minutes. 
this was during fairly vanilla sex and we've done a lot rougher BDSM stuff before so it was confusing. I asked her if she forgot her safe word. No. Did I hurt you? No. What made you cry? I don't know. It's a mystery to this day and she can't figure it out either. My girlfriend is a talker. However, at one point, mid gasping orgasm, I always assumed I'd have a wide variety of sexual partners but if this is what you do then I don't see it as a high priority. It was like having sex with an auctioneer. Was having sex with a French guy. On his heaviest, thickest French accent, he said I will now put my penis in your vagina. I laughed and it both got us off the mood. I had a guy pour a bottle of water over me during sex because it's getting too hot. I wasn't impressed because it was my bed that got soaked. But the sex was hot so I continued and later slept in the puddle. My then fiancé called me directly after work one night, completely hammered after visiting a friend that lived a few floods down from us, and waiting with her Hitachi wand for me to get home. I hurried my ass back to the apartment, and found her ready for action. She claws off all my clothes, and starts to ride me like it's the Kentucky Derby. We finish at the same time which is always amazing, but she kept coming, and coming hard. She arched back, and flopped straight forward, luckily right beside my head. She came so hard she passed out. After few minutes had passed, she woke up, climbed off of me, and wandered into the kitchen for some water. Keep in mind, she's very drunk, like, blackout drunk. She decides she's suddenly tired after her drink, so she climbs up and lays down on a partial wall we had separating the living room and kitchen, naked. I kept an eye on her for a little while, then went to get something out of the bedroom. I hear a loud thud, and a whimpered ow. There she was on the floor. She must have landed pretty gracefully because she just ended up with a little bruise on her hip from the fall. I help her up, apologizing. But suddenly, she doesn't care about fall she just took. No. No. Now she has to check the mail. In the lobby of the big apartment complex. Naked. I convince her that this is a terrible idea. But now. She's not interested in the mail. She's interested in the mail. It's round two. She starts making out with me. Dragging me back down the hall to the bedroom, pushes me on the bed, and starts to ride me again. She comes again like crazy. She did the arch back again. But this time, she hung there while I held her up. A few seconds of silence tick by. When she lets out a rattling snore, she passed out from an orgasm. Again. And that's the night my daughter was conceived. Was once having sex with my sodagi style and in front of us was a mirror. I waved at her through the mirror and she laughed so hard that she pissed all over my dick in the bed. Had a girlfriend once who pulled away from my dick after giving me head, looked directly into my eyes, swallowed, and said go team. I was trying to be all sexy and hold her from behind. Apparently, I held too hard around her neck and choked her a bit. She asked me if I was doing it on purpose. I started apologizing, saying I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Are you okay? She said it really turned her on. And that's the story of how I discovered my ex's choking fetish by complete accident. Midway through without a condom she said wow, this feels amazing. And I shouted because it's bloody raw. Like Gordon Ramsay. Needless to say we were both laughing too hard to continue. The first time I ended up in bed with an old f buddy, he asked me to don a pair of boxing gloves and punch him across the face and chest. This in itself wasn't really unexpected as we'd already talked about how that kind of thing turned him on. The unexpected part was how much I got off on it. I discovered a new kink that night. It's not what the girl I was with did, but I had ended up at the girl's house both very drunk and started hooking up. For some reason that soon became very clear there was a mattress on the floor of her bedroom. So we ended up on it. About 10 minutes later drunk me as balls deep doing doggy and just looking around the room when I realized there were two very quiet, yet very awake and attentive, people in the bed, watching us. Somehow I wasn't able to finish, made my excuses and left. This must be what raccoons feel like when they realize I'm watching them rummage through my garbage can. My boyfriend was eating me out when out of nowhere he blew a shit ton of air into my vagina and it scared me. I jumped and pushed all the air out misting the poor guy's face. I laughed so hard at him, though I'm not proud to say that I know what a balloon feels like now. This was me, not him, but, my boyfriend used to tell me that I wasn't loud enough, he couldn't tell when I came, so he didn't know when to stop, so, the next time I came I yelled announcement, I have orgasmed, please step aside and allow the doors to close. 
My ex had apparently read in Cosmo that guys like to have their assholes finger blasted. So, one night, she's giving me a blowjob and decided to give me the OL sneaky finger. I lurched forward and accidentally shoved my dick down her throat. She puked. Then I puked. We never spoke of it again. I once dated a guy who giggled when he finished. That was definitely unexpected the first time we had sex. Back in 2001 my girlfriend had apparently seen the cripple fight episode of South Park and started saying filthy things during sex in Jimmy Valmer's voice. That stopped me cold but she would not stop doing the voice. Pretty funny. We broke up 14 years ago. You're a c a c a c a continuing source of inspiration. Accidental ass penetration when he got over excited and pulled out too far while doggy styling. My scream. Clench and bolt forward was just as unexpected for him too. Are you one of my exes? Either way, I'm so sorry.